our today's topic is on the basics of the of geometry geometry is basically a branch of mathematics that is concerned with the properties and the relations of points lines planes solids or you can say about, about the shapes and their properties so today we are going to learn the basic building blocks of the geometry you can say at some point you will see just point line and play like uh, point line and plane are the basic building blocks of the geometry from which we will go further to understand the the further complex concepts but here are, we are also going to discuss the solids so that you can have clear understanding how they all differ uh, how one thing is formed from the other and how they are related to each other in terms of different properties At the end of this lecture you will have clear concept you can easily identify what is plane you can easily identify what is solid what is line what is point so we will start with the most fundamental object of the geometry that is point so here we have the definition of a point that point represents represents a position or location in a plane so a point is basically an exact location in a space as we have drawn here a plane and here we have different points points are basically represented by a dot so we have just elaborated this dot by making it a little bit big so that you can have clear understanding otherwise it's, it's just a dot the, this dot is representing the position of something in a space in a space or in a plane or you can say in a coordinate plane when you have the coordinate axis x or y axis so a certain position is represented by a point so the we have in this given plane we have multiple points that is a b c d e and the points are represented by the capital let we can uh, say that in a plane we have multiple points and it is the fundamental object in the geometry so the next fundamental or you can say the basic object in the geometry is the line so how the line is defined a line is defined as a connected set of infinite points so it is clear from this statement that a line is made up of points but but infinite points means so many points that we can't count and stretches infinitely in opposite directions it means a line has no ending in any direction so it stretches infinitely in both the directions in or you can say in opposite directions like as in the diagram it is given here and it has no end point keep this in mind don't confuse it with the line segment line segment is basically a part of a line that is finite part of a line while a line itself is infinite so it extends indefinitely in the opposite direction so a line can be represented by by like you can say a line a line b line c or it can also be represented as you can write like a b and and a double headed line like arrows on both side just like the line shape of the line as i have drawn so you can represent ab like this so this is the representation of a line while if you came across a line segment or so you can say a line that have some length a definite length you can say 5 cm 6 cm then it will be different from the line that will be a line segment in my next lecture i will clear your concept regarding the line and line segment but here we are talking about the line that is infinite that is stretching infinitely on both sides and and if i take a portion from this line then it will be a line segment with the definite length but here we can't measure its length it's impossible to measure the length of a line you can also take the example of a number line just like number line has no end if i draw here so here we have the number line in maths that extends infinitely on both the direction one is towards the positive side and the other is the negative side so this can be the one example of a number line that is stretching infinitely in the opposite direction now we'll move towards the plane so the next basic object of the or you can say the fundamental object of the geometry is the plane so plane is the so plane is defined as the flat surface extends infinitely in two dimensions so here the dimensions are very important we will discuss the dimensions dif dimensional difference between all the four types of the objects that we have uh, that we are going to discuss we are that we are discussing today in the next point but currently here we are just concerned with the definition so plane is defined as a fla flat surface extends infinitely in two dimension so as the diagram here shown is a plane just forget about the triangle red triangle that is shown in the diagram 
we will discuss it later but currently a plane is just like the coordinate axis as the coordinate axis is extending infinitely in the two directions that is x axis and y axis then we can say that is a plane we can't draw a plane on the paper because this it's it is extending infinitely so it is impossible to view the plane on the paper or in uh, or you can say in real life so we generally consider the uh, the, uh, the the top of a table as a plane or our uh, roof as a plane so it's basically a flat surface surface of any object and it's two dimensional keep this in mind it's very important so we can draw a plane that that will be having the finite uh, dimensions in the plane like in this x y coordinate axis plane we can draw a shape that have the finite length and the width but shapes that we draw here will be two dimension and they will not have the thickness so the, the shapes will be flat they will not have the thickness they will just be represented by their length and the width the shapes are basically the part of the plane just like line segment is a part of the line the shapes different flat shapes that i will discuss later are the part of the plane that is extending infinitely so this was all about the plane then we have the solid solid is basically a 3d surface or an object extends infinitely in all directions so we have discussed the four objects see so of the four solid is basically the only 3d object it's a three dimensional object that is extending infinitely in all direction and this is also extending indef indefinitely in a coordinate plane so coordinate plane can can be of two axes and it can be of three axes so when we talk about the three dimension it will be on three axes that is x y and z we have seen that in the plane we we have a x y coordinate axis that is extending infinitely in two dimensions that is x and y axis and we have we, we have the triangle in it a part of that plane and in solid we have the x y z coordinate axis and x y z coordinate axis is extending infinitely in all the three direction and we have an object that is solid that is a part of that coordinate axis so this this is how plane and solid differentiate from each other now we will talk about the dimensions of all these four types of objects first of all we will move towards the point the point has zero dimension it is just a dot that is representing a position it does not have length width or height so it has zero dimensions length is equals to zero width is equals to zero height is equals to zero no dimension at all then we have the line what will be the dimensions of line as it is clear from its diagram that the line has only one dimension that is length you can say a line segment uh, as we can't measure the line but we can measure a part of a line that is called a line segment and if we represent its value as a line ab has a value of 5 cm or 6 cm so it represents its length it means it has only one dimension that is length and it has zero width and zero height then we have the plane in plane we have two dimensions so a plane has two dimensions that is length and width but its height or thickness is equals to zero this is a flat surface as just the top of the uh, as just the this uh, top of your screen or the top of your table that has no thickness or you can say the top of your paper it's just like a flat shape with zero thickness then we have the solids solids are three dimensional objects so they have three dimensions so they have the height they have the weight they have the length so they all they have all the three dimensions as in case of the and you can take the examples of the book or a football or cylinder these are all three dimensional objects so these are basically the shapes that are uh, uh, that are, that will be used in the geometry as the basis for discussing the different properties and uh, one more thing about is let's discuss some examples of the or, or the some uh, um, properties of these objects just like a point can be a collinear non collinear coplanar or non coplanar let's write it so a point can be a collinear or non collinear it means if a points lie multiple points lie on the same line they will be collinear if they don't then it will be non collinear if the multiple points lie in the same plane as in case of the Uh, of the plane as i have drawn here in the point section that multiple a b c d e d uh, they are all in the same plane so they are called coplanar and if any point exist outside this plane that they will be non coplanar 
then we have the line so the line should be straight it cannot be curved so a line can be horizontal or vertical or if we talk about the two lines they can be intersecting or perpendicular or parallel then we have the plane plane is basically uh, uh, can be described in terms of the different shapes that can be that we can draw in a plane having the two dimensions just like it could be a triangle it could be rectangle circle square so all these should be two dimensional shapes that we can draw in the two dimension space that is x y coordinate axis or you can say in a plane so whenever we talk about the plane the, the shapes that come into our mind should be the shapes like triangle rectangle circle square all these shapes are two dimensional they don't have any thickness uh, and uh, they can be drawn in a plane while in case of the solids we have a three dimensional uh, we have three dimensional objects just we can say the uh, three dimensional version of triangle that is a prism the three dimensional ver version of rectangle is a cuboid the three dimensional version of square is a cube and the three dimensional version of a circle is a cylinder so this is how we differentiate point line plane and solid and before studying the geometry we must have the uh, the basic concepts of all these basic now or the, you can say fundamental objects of the geometry so that we can easily understand all the further complex concepts of geometry so that's all from today's lecture thank you